tool for teachers to use, it's a great tool for students to use too. I'm going to show you today how to create an interactive slide presentation that you can have your students use for any subject in the classroom. I'm really excited to show you how to create this kind of activity. It could really be modified for any subject. For example, instead of building words, students could be building numbers for math problems. In social studies, they could be building a timeline, things like that. But let's just start with something simple. And I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop activity to create words and build words with students. So this is essentially how the product works. I recorded my voice and students could click this button and hear the word played for them. And then I have an example of what I want them to build and then type. So this is how it would work. Students would press the play button and hear the word, and then they would drag these letter tiles to build the word. So they could build the word apple. That is the word they heard when they pressed the play and listen button. And so we have A-P-P-L-E, and then they can type the word like this. And they're practicing their spelling words, sight words, whatever that is. Now you could have the apple be the same background and maybe they're all fall themed words or you'll change the background per word or you'll make the background just something simple. But let me show you how I created this drag and drop activity using Canva. When you're in your home screen, you're just going to create a presentation and you can make it a blank presentation. You can have whatever background you want. If you want to just keep it simple and make it one color or just come over here to elements and look for simple background. You can see what type of backgrounds they have here that you could use. I did an Apple themed background. So I just searched Apple and then I looked for photos of apples and you can choose any photo here that you'd like. I might choose something different just to switch it up for our example. Now, once you have your background, I right clicked and chose set background. So it was in the background here. Next, I'm going to set up my board for what I want this to look like. So I had a section where they were listening to the word. So I added a little box here. And you can add a border if you want. I like the border. And then I added a text box and just said, play and listen. And I went ahead and put a little element here for our play button. I'm going to make this black. And then I did add a little arrow to point like this is where they press play, right? Just making it as obvious as possible here. Now you can also make this bold so it's easier to see and read. So we're gonna put our little audio here in just a moment. And that's kind of an added feature. If you don't wanna have the audio, you don't have to. For younger grades, I do think that's a good feature to add. Now I had another section where I had them build the words. They were moving letter tiles. So we're going to have the build it section right here. Again, I'm going to add my border. And then last, I had a section where they were typing it. Now, since I don't want things to be moved around, I am going to lock some of these objects down. So you just click lock so they can't be moved around. Same right here. I'm going to go ahead and just lock those down. Now I'm going to create my letter tiles. This was easy to do. I just added a shape here and then I added my letter. And I want them to be lowercase and you can make the letters as big as you want. You can also find letter tile, tile elements in Canva. You can just search letter tiles. Sometimes they don't look and match the feel of what I'm going for. So I just created my own, but you can search letter tiles and use the letter tiles they have. And then you can click the three little dots here and choose view collection. And you can find all the letters and just add them in one by one. I'm going to show you how you can create your own letter tiles too, but really it works either way, whether you want to use the letter tiles in Canva or create your own. 
We're going to create our own so that I have it the right font that I want that's easy to read and the right size. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a border and I might change this color, maybe, maybe a nice green color. Yeah, I think I like the green here. And now I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this and make all the letters of the alphabet. I've created all my letter tiles and I don't want to lock these down because you want students to be able, able to move them around. Now you can see when I click a letter here and I move it, it leaves an empty space. To, so to make that illusion that the letters are never ending, I'm going to select my tiles, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and I'm just going to layer a bunch of letter tiles on top of each other. Then I'll copy that again. We'll just make a nice pile of letter tiles here. Now, when they click and drag, the letters look like they are endless. Okay, now the next part, we need to add a text box here where students will type. So I just add a text box and I like to put type here so they know where to type. And then you'll just add that in your box and you can make the font as big as you need. Now to make this sound here, this is the part that would be the most time intensive. There are lots of different ways to record your voice, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in Canva and how to have that audio file right inside Canva. You are going to just create a video, whatever video you want. It can be any size because we are going to import it into our other presentation. So I'm just gonna do a square video here. And then I'm gonna go over to uploads and choose record yourself. And this is where you will record yourself saying the word Apple. So you can choose camera, camera and screen. It's really up to you, but we are going to make the video transparent so you won't even see yourself. So you don't have to worry about getting ready or looking nice. We're gonna make it transparent so they can't see your face anyway. So you'll go ahead and you'll record your voice. You'll press record, record yourself saying Apple. Once you're done recording, your video will look something like this. You'll see it here in your uploads under video and you'll just add it to your presentation. Then you can make sure it's selected and just make it fully transparent and put it over this play button. So when students press it, they'll hear Apple. Now, one last thing when using these presentations, students need to know they're not going to press the present button. If you press the present button, they won't be able to click and drag their letters. You can't click and drag, you can't type. This is something they're playing right here just in edit mode, as I like to call it. So they're just going to go ahead and click and drag here and type here. Isn't this so fun? Honestly, I feel like you can come up with so many different ideas and you can have different backgrounds. You could have it for different themes. You could do some sort of science where they are making sure to put things in the right order if you're talking about a life cycle, like life cycles of animals, things like that. And they're just clicking and dragging the objects into the right location. I hope you have a great time creating these activities for your students. I'd love to hear what you do in the comments. Make sure to also check the comments so you can follow me on both YouTube and Instagram for the best Canva hacks for your classroom as a teacher. I also have some great links to courses and memberships, as well as a book that you can check out. Make sure to check out the description to see all the links.